All right, so um, I posted this question last week, but I noticed that most of you guys got it wrong. And I figured either one, hindi niya pa napapalad yung video lesson, or two, naka-confuse pa rin kayo. And that's understandable. That's the reason why I spend a lot of time sa topic na ito when I hold live review events. And that is why I tried my best to answer yung questions regarding this. Pagdating naman sa online review. In fact, I made explainer videos for the activities for this topic, specifically sa online review. So, if you're joining, I would love to uh, get to know you guys that way para mas maturuan ko kayo. Pero, um, right now, we're going to focus on this muna. Ito yung question that I posted sa ating Facebook page. So, if you are not familiar with that, you can go to www.facebook.com slash team Laika. And uh, just like that page, kasi every day I try to post uh, some things na helpful sa inyo. So, every morning have the word of the day and then at 12 noon, I try to post a new question or a new video lesson, anything like that to help you prepare for the exam. Now, this is the question that I posted, no? If hindi nyo pa siya nasasagutan, I'm going to ask you to hit pause and then answer it. I'm going to give you a minute. Pero kung nasagutan nyo na siya, you can skip ahead so you can watch the explanation for this. Alright? Sabi dito, all chubby girls are pretty and all, and only chubby girls are cute. If Abby is pretty, which of these is definitely true? A. Abby is chubby. B. Abby is cute. C. Abby is pretty and cute. And D. Abby is pretty. Now, again, ang susi dito is to know how to draw it. And if you haven't seen the video lesson on this, go ahead and click yung I na mag-appear dito sa taas so you can catch up. Kasi hindi nyo siya talaga masyadong maintindihan if you don't know how to draw it. Uh, in fact, itong, itong klaseng tanong, you probably encountered this in your life sa uh, philo or logic class ninyo. And it maybe hindi tinuro this way. Kasi this is the way I devised na isulat or i-draw yung question. Just for you to better understand kung ano talaga yung pinag-uusapan sa problem. Kasi if you don't draw it, Kung binasa mo lang siya, akala natin minsan tama tayo, pero yun pala hindi. So, the best way to do it is to draw. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin is, we're going to take it one line at a time, like I told you guys dun sa lesson, no? So, ang unang line is this, all chubby girls are pretty. Now, kung i-drawing natin yun, ang all looks like a sunny side up egg. So, all chubby girls are pretty. Now, you notice, I put the uh, sentence individually muna sa side before I draw yung official na picture. And that is just to visually show you kung ano yung ibig sabihin nito. Ang ibig sabihin nito is all C R P. All cute or all chubby girls are pretty. Okay? So, ikaw yung drawing ko siya sa bigger scale. Lahat daw ng C I P din. Pwede na ko lang yung pen color ko. Um, just so you could differentiate it, no? Gawin natin siyang blue. Okay? So, all chubby girls are pretty. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, lahat yan ay pretty. Okay? Ngayon, the next statement says that all chubby eh, only chubby girls are cute. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung sinabi natin only, ang ibig sabihin nun is that uh, they share the same circle. So, ang itsura nun is, 
only chubby girls are cute looks like this. Kung sino yung chubby girls, sila rin ang cute. Okay? Kung chubby ka, cute ka. Kung cute ka, chubby ka. Walang ibang cute maliban sa mga chubby. Okay? At lahat ng chubby definitely ay cute. Ibig sabihin, walang, uh, walang hindi chubby na cute. Okay? So, talagang exclusive yung relationship na yan sila lang. Ngayon, bago natin ipasok to dun sa main diagram, you have to think, meron bang existing na chubby or cute dun sa diagram? Yes. Di ba? Itong sina yan. Kasi itong sina yan, yan yung chubby. Okay? Ngayon, ang sabi, all chubby girls, eh, only chubby girls are cute. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung, ano yung bilog na to na chubby, sila rin yung cute. Tama? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Itong circle na yan, you can also color that green. Okay? Ako, again, pinivisualize lang natin to kaya nilagyan ko ng ganyan. Okay? And in the same way, yan ding bilog na nasa loob. Okay? Kukulayan ko rin siya ng pula kasi Christmas na Christmas lang, no? Ibig sabihin nun, lahat ng nasa loob ng circle na to ay cute na, chubby pa, pretty pa. Okay? Ngayon, ano na yung susunod na step? Ang sabi, Abby is pretty. Ngayon, ano yung sabihin nun? Kung Abby is pretty, nasan si Abby? Okay, lagay natin yung kanyang, lagay natin siyang magenta. Okay, nasan si Abby? Si Abby ay pretty, nasa loob siya, bilog na P. So, ano man yung bilog na P, nasa loob si Abby. Okay, nandyan siya. Nasa loob. So, saan mo siya pwede ilagay? Pag dito ko ba nilagay si Abby, pretty ba siya? Yes, kasi nga, nasa loob siya ng bilog na pretty. Okay, so definitely pretty siya. Ngayon, pag nilagay ko ba siya dito? Okay, pretty ba rin ba siya? Yes, bakit? Kasi nasa loob pa rin siya ng bilog na blue. Okay? Ngayon, hindi tayo sure kung nasan siya dyan. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Kung pretty si Abby, pwede siyang cute, pwede siyang chubby, pwede rin hindi. Kasi hindi tayo sure kung nasan siya dyan sa dalawang yan. Ngayon, doon tayo sa options. Which of these is definitely true? Pag sinabing definitely true, ibig sabihin 100%. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Okay? Ibig sabihin, wala talaga, talagang 100% sure ka na totoong-totoo siya. So, yung dumang tayo sa una, Abby is chubby. Sigurado ka ba? Again, tinan natin diagram. Kung nandito si Abby, at dyan lang siya pwedeng maipasok, then definitely chubby siya. Pero pwede kasi siya dito eh. At dito sa pwesto na to, pretty siya, hindi siya chubby, hindi siya cute. So, this is, ano, hindi to certain, uncertain to. So, hindi yan definitely true. Abby is cute. Sure ka ba? Again, tingnan natin. Kung dito siya, at sure ka na nandyan siya, yes. Pero ang sabi lang, pretty siya eh. So, pwede siyang nandito sa circle, na, sa, sa labas na circle. So, sa loob lang siya ng pretty. Nandyan pa rin na siya. Pretty pa rin siya. Pero hindi na siya cute. Okay? Hindi ka sure. Kung nasa 50-50 or hindi ka sure, then hindi pa rin siya pwedeng maging definitely true. So, Abby is pretty and cute. Again, Abby is pretty, tama yon 100%. Kasi kahit nandito siya o nandito siya, pretty pa rin siya. Tama yung first statement. And cute. O, napatunayan natin kanina, di ba? Hindi tayo masyadong sure dyan. So, hindi pa rin to definitely true. The correct answer is letter D. Abby is pretty. Bakit? Kasi whether nandito si Abby... Pretty pa rin siya. Or kung nandito siya, pretty pa rin siya. So, ang tangi ka lang na sure doon sa lahat ng statement is Abby is pretty. Alright? So, again, kung hindi mo siya i-drawing, di ba? Or hindi ka nag-practice ng drawing, mahihirapan talaga kayo sa ganitong tanong. Kaya, I encourage you talaga to practice. I'll try to post more questions like these leading up to yung ating civil service exam. And, as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash team like to find out kung kailan yung mga library events, online review program, if you want to join those. And also, if you want to get reviewers, kasi may mga questions tayo na ganyan dun sa reviewer. And uh, dun sa mga explainer booklets that, na, uh, dun sa mga practices booklets, may mga explainer videos din dun for those types of questions na included sa booklet. So, thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope na enjoy nyo to kahit na naka- uh, tech rest ako pag Mondays like I told you guys this aking previous video I really wanted to have something then for you guys na aralin nyo habang ako ay nagpapahinga okay so thank you guys and I hope to see you soon in my next video God bless aja aja kayo and uh, never stop learning
Thank you.